Hello. Today we will show you how to properly set the pass-fail point on your GF30AC ground bond tester for proper test results. The Compliance West GF30AC conducts a high current ground bond test, ensuring the product chassis is correctly connected to the building ground for safety. This test is conducted at between 10 and 25 amps. The GF30AC is set for 25 amps from the factory. The resistance of the connection, less the resistance of the cords used to conduct the test, must be 0.1 ohm or less. The resistance of the cords is not measured in this test. This GF30AC setup zeroes out the resistance of the cords so the connection resistance can be correctly measured. We will describe this procedure here. First, examine the cords used to conduct the ground bond test on your production line. You should be using the 10 gauge return lead and the 14 gauge power cord both supplied with the GF30AC. When you have the correct cords, plug them into the front panel of the GF30AC as you would when the ground bond test is conducted. Connect the return lead to the chassis banana jack and plug the 14 gauge power cord into the orange receptacle. Next. Plug the connector supplied with the GF30AC into the center connector of the IEC plug. Then, connect the alligator clips across the 0.1 ohm resistor on the GF30AC rear panel. Locate the cow point adjustment. You will use the screwdriver supplied with the GF30AC to adjust the cal point of the tester here. Turn on the GF30AC. Push and hold the blue button and adjust the cal point on the rear panel until the red and green lights on the front panel are both lit approximately equally. When you have adjusted the cow point until both lights are lit, the adjustment to compensate for the resistance of the leads is complete. Release the blue button, remove the connector, and disconnect the leads from the resistor on the rear panel. The GF30 is now ready for production line testing. If the cords are changed, you must conduct this procedure using the new cords to make sure the connection resistance is being measured correctly. If you have any questions about setting the GF30AC pass-fail point, 